Good morning, everyone. It's good that I can have the privilege to speak to you this morning and that you are listening for a short while. So this morning I want to talk about shortcuts. I mean, our lives currently as we live is just full of, full of shortcuts. We can go for shortcut meals, all the takeaway shops, and we just park there and we get them. And uh, yes, everywhere we go, it's just um, the world is made out of shortcuts. But if I read in Matthew 7, uh, verse 12 and then verse 13 and 14, I find an interesting thing. So Matthew 7 and the message says, um, it says, here's a simple rule of thumb to guide your behavior. And then 13 and 14 says, don't look for shortcuts to God. The market is flooded with surefire, easygoing formulas for a successful life that can be practiced in your spare time. Don't fall for that stuff. Even though crowds of people do, the way to life is to God. And that way is vigorous and it requires your total attention. So let me just for a moment pick your mind. I mean, we can run into any bookshop, we can run to the internet by the press of a button. We will find information on any question we have. Even if we need direction in our lives, we just Google the topic, we Google our desired outcome, we look at the A to Z, we implement it, and we just go that direction. The problem is that, that life as we know it became so superficial and artificial because we all just copycat each other. We just take what worked for you and we try it in our own lives. So what we actually do is we just jump into the mainstream. We jump into that stream with momentum where everybody goes and we end where everybody else ends. But the reality, if I, if I read this, if I read in the other translation, what Jesus is actually saying, he says, don't take the wide road, take the narrow road. Take that one that, that has a bit more pressure. Take that one that, that will take you through an obstacle or two, but take the one that is connected to the person of Jesus and the name of Jesus and derive your answers, derive your direction out of the word of God. I think the challenge today is not to jump, you know, in the mainstream, not to do what everybody else does, but to really spend time in the Word of God, to really use the Word as Google. If you have a topic, if you need an answer, go Google the Word, go into the Bible, find the verses, find the context, and get your answers from God, because if, imagine if we have a community, if we have people that start to implement the Word daily in their lives. Imagine if our, you know, our, if our future is in the hands of the Word of God. Imagine if every single plan that is on the table and in every single strategy and implementation comes from the Word of God. I mean the peace in our hearts, because why? We would know this is the blueprint of God. So I want to challenge you, but I also want to encourage you. Let's take the time to spend with God. Let's define our lives through, from the Word and not from just books on the bookshelf and more Googles and more Googles and more Googles. I mean, we are God's design. We are His children. He knows us best. So why then get our answers from other people or other places? Let's get it from God. I want to pray for you. Father, this is plain. This is simple. Jesus, you say don't take the, the wide road. Take the narrow road. Take the only road. Take, take my road. Lord, please help us. Please remind us, Holy Spirit, to always, always revert back to that place of being in Jesus and moving from Jesus because this is our place. Help us that the manual of our lives, Lord, won't be um, all kinds of successful shortcut manuals, but let it be the Word of God, the only one, the one that will take us through the processes of life, but that is saturated with, with the DNA of heaven that will take us not through a quick fix and a quick jump to somewhere, but a slow progression from here to there, really taking us to a place of heavenly blessedness and the favor of God. So we thank you for the availability of the word, uh, that your Holy Spirit is with us and that your heart is for us. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Till next time.